Hey you, I have an announcement. We have a huge update in ChatGPT. ChatGPT 4.0 image generation is here. It excels at accurately rendering text. It closely follows complex prompts with attention to detail. And it's great at creating and customizing images as simple as chatting to describe what you need, including using hex codes, aspect ratios, and transparent backgrounds. And most of all, upload your own personal image and completely transform it with a new variety of styles. So right here on OpenAI's announcement page, it gives us some very good prompts that we could try for ourselves. Now, upon looking at these, I have to tell you right away, if it can really generate images that really do look this good and actually get the text that accurate, like this right here. So it's one thing to have all these on your feature page on your announcement, but let's really put it to the test and see for ourselves if it could actually do this good of a job. Okay, so the first one I wanna go ahead and test. It's a long prompt, but let's really just dive in and go right to the test. And I'm gonna just simply come in here and copy all of this, just like that. Perfect. Now it's pasted in. Let's go ahead and see what this can do. For the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. Now, while this is thinking, we're going to head back over to their announcement page and take a look at a few other ones that may be worth testing. Now, this right here, this could be pretty impressive as well. And I think one of the most popular ones that people have been requesting, comic strips. So again, I want to come in here and we're also going to copy this one. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and double up. I'm going to go ahead and just open up a second chat GPT chat. Now for the second chat, let's go ahead and try the comic strip one. Now in our second window, let's go ahead and paste this one in. Let's see how our other one is doing. Now there is one key thing I have noticed. So just by pasting in this prompt, it didn't give me the actual image. If I actually say generate an image and then paste it in, then I should get my image. Now let's try this for round two. Let's see if it did that for my comic strip one. Now for the comic strip one, it did it right away. And wow, look at how good this actually looks. Pretty impressive. Now watch what else you can do right away. Now down here at the very bottom, I'm going to say this. I'm going to tell ChatGPT to change my aspect ratio to 16.9. Let's see if it can now widen my image to make it more widescreen. Back to the other prompt. Let's see what we're getting right here. Okay, now it looks like this time it is successfully in the process of generating our image. And now remember, for reference, the one we're looking for is going to be something similar to this whiteboard one right here, which it is going to be pretty impressive if it can pull this off. Okay, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Now, it's not identical to this. However, regardless, it looks pretty good. Now, there is some mistakes being made, some blurriness right here, but for the most part, the text looks pretty good. Let's go back to the comic strip. Now, look, it did exactly what I was wanting. Now, the first one, it's not going to be aspect ratio 16.9. Now, this one is. So that's one of the cool and new things you can do on the fly, whereas you can tell ChatGPT to do certain edits. Let's see if we can do one more thing. This would really take things to the next level. Now I'm gonna say change the car's color to green. Change the red car's color to green. Now, if it could pull this off, I'll be pretty impressed if it can do this. Okay, now the real test is let's see what it can do when I get some parking signs like this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. Now let's go back to our comic strip and look, it did. It did change the red car to green, at least on this one. So that's pretty impressive. While our other one is thinking of the street signs, now let's go to my prompts database and really see how this compares with some of my favorite prompts. Now, one thing that ChatGPT excels at in this new update is gonna be for the generation of accurate text. And also I've heard that it can generate good designs specifically for or UI or even some video game style prompts. So now we're over here in my Mega Prompts database and I'm gonna quickly filter this to check out only animated and video game style prompts, just like these right here. And in fact, I even am gonna test out one of my hidden gems. It's gonna be this one right here, specifically utilizing this little secret of this prompt, where all you have to do is simply just put in that IMG underscore and then a number and then any particular screenshot for a video game. We'll go ahead and test this. Come back over to chat GPT, but first look at this. Here are going to be our street parking signs and 
pretty good job. The spelling is, for the most part, accurate. I'd say it's about a 50-50. Now, let's paste this one in. And you can see what the prompt is right here. It's that IMG underscore. Now, if you want to use something like this, you don't have to use these specific numbers. Any number will work. But let's see if we can get that image of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, back over here in the database again, I also do want to try one for a UI video game. So let's go ahead and try this one. UI design of a racing simulator. And now paste this prompt in. Now, if I go back to my other one for Sonic the Hedgehog, we did run across a problem because look at this right here. For copyright reasons, it cannot replicate Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're going to go ahead and try this again by copying this, paste this in. And instead of saying Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm going to say Marvel Superhero Video Game Screenshot. Okay, we'll come back to that one in a second. Let's go back and look at this one right here for our UI design screenshot. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's come back over here and try one more for video game style. I really like the way this RPG one looks. I think this is pretty fascinating. Pretty impressed with this. This one was made in mid-journey. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like this. While that's thinking, let's take a look at our Marvels one. And okay, that did do good. Now, again, it's not necessarily a specific superhero and the text is not the best. Okay, so it's not bad, but it's also not good. In fact, I would argue that definitely Free Pick and Mid Journey did do a much better job. But now let's try something that it really is supposedly supposed to excel at. But before we do that, let's take a look at this image of our RPG video game UI screenshot and very impressed. So the next thing I want to do is I want to upload an image of my logo and see if I could use a hex code to actually change the colors. Okay, so here is logo number one, my original logo. Now, one other thing to mention is that ChatGPT can now also generate transparent backgrounds. We'll also try that. But here I am. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and bring this photo in. There it is right there. Now, my goal here is to see if ChatGPT can change the colors from my original one to something more along the lines as this one. So here's what I'm going to do. A quick cheat code. I'm going to come back over here and I am in a separate chat going to drag this image in here. Now, what I'll ask is what are the hex codes for this image? Okay, just like that. What are the hex codes for this image? Let's go ahead and get these. And those are the ones that we're going to use to see if we can change it up in my original logo right down here. And now there you have it. It's going to work and it's giving me not one, not two, not three, but it's giving me, wow, it's giving me 10. Amazing. Let me know if you like a full palette or a downloadable color swatch. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, both. I get both a color swatch image and also a color palette CSV. Okay, wow, instantly, now here it is. There is my hex code, and this one did do it perfectly well. It put it right here into a CSV file, which I then opened up in Microsoft Excel. Perfect, so I got those hex codes. Let's see if it could actually change my logo. And now this time I said, please edit this image, but this time with these hex codes. Let's see what this can do for us now. Now let's see if we can generate a transparent image. And here's my prompt, generate a transparent image, Panda, 3D render, app icon style. Let's see what this can do for us here. Now, look at this. It analyzed everything. I've loaded the image successfully. It said it remapped it. Let's go ahead and click this view analysis one. Okay, pretty interesting. The image primarily uses these colors. I'll now remap it to use your requested. Okay, I downloaded the image and now let's take a look at the moment of truth in my downloads folder. Okay, wow, it did do it. Look at this. Here it is right here pretty amazing job. Now it did it perfectly. I only gave it the three or four hex codes and I didn't even mention gradient, but this did a great job. But let's take it up a notch and see if it can reproduce it in gradient colors. And so what I'll say is now recreate it and make it gradient style. It did do it. Click here to download the gradient style one for my metrics view logo. And let's go to my downloads folder, open this up and Look at that. It did do it. Definitely gradient. Very impressed with how this turned out. And now look at this. Here is my Panda one. Transparent. It's exactly what I was wanting. A 3D rendered app icon style Panda. And some other quick things you can see right here. This is where you can easily change up your image. Where you can just upload an image of like a cat. And then you could say give the cat a detective hat. And it did do it. There's a great example there. As I scroll, you could see you could actually just make changes on the fly with just communicating back and forth via a text. I think this is a great improvement and a great new update, but it does look like there are still a few flaws, specifically with the crispness and the sharp level of the text. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time.